Okay, so some very disturbing developments on the Daniel Boland show over the last couple of days. I have been in fear for my life. Those of you who watched my last video might have an inkling as to why, okay? We uh, changed it up a bit in the last video. We started talking about Joe Rogan. <laughs> And Cat Williams. These chickens are pecking us to death. They're <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I can't even sleep. Joe Rogan is back on YouTube. And I thought I'd dissect his first full interview in over two and a half years. Three and a half years. With Cat Williams, which he uploaded to YouTube. And a lot of my regular viewers, you were very, uh, you were very uh, reasonable. And he said, I like the video, wonderful. Now, what I didn't appreciate were the untold amounts of very unreasonable death threats that I received from all of the disaffected young men who watch Joe Rogan. I'm unwell, I need help. Well, I need help. You're here, but you're in the right I just place. wanted to meet you. Now, don't get me wrong, the Disaffected young men demographic is one I've been trying to capture for a very long time on the Daniel Boland show. <laughs> and you're welcome. You really are. You're welcome here. But uh, some of your comments are unacceptable. You don't understand yet, okay? Your, your uh, what's it called? The prefrontal cortex is not developed yet in many of you, okay? You still think Joe Rogan's your guy. And you accuse me of being parasocial because I'm talking about all these people <laughs> all day long. Uh, I'm not parasocial, you are. You think that they're on your team. They're not, I'm on your team, okay? I, I will help you, disaffected young men. Come to Daniel Boland, okay? And watch how we stick it to the man, all right? No more death threats. Oh, Daniel Bolin, this is a heavy hitter. Do you guys know who this is? Okay, so what we're going to do for today's video is we're going to take a look at uh, some of the comments on my previous video, and uh, we're going to right some wrongs. Now at last I have seen a judgment of Solomon. Okay, we're going to put people straight, because a few people uh, are just, you know, they're beyond help. And they think that any criticism of Joe Rogan or Cat Williams is, uh, is, is hate, is jealousy. They don't get that I'm having the time of my life. But there are others who are just misunderstanding what the Daniel Boland show is all about. And I'm sure I will win you over with my measured responses and uh, cool, calm and collected demeanor. Okay, so the first comment we're going to take a look at comes from a disaffected young man who goes by the name of 24 Based. I can only assume that's because he is based 24 hours a day. Real bad man. And I think you're going to understand immediately why I've been living in fear for the last few days, because these kids, they've really got it together. This 24 based guy knows the score. He's really got it going on. I mean, let's take a look here. He's got the drop crotch jeans, probably G-Star or Superior. The ice white sneakers probably cost him 200 bucks. And what about his ride here? His whip probably got six speeds. Anyway, let's take a look at the comments, shall we? For God's sake, I wouldn't want people to start calling me petty. I notice how he only likes the comments of those who agree with his attacks on Joe and Cat. This guy is a clown. And then... To add insult to injury, we've got a downwards pointing thumb emoji. Whose ethnicity, by the way, I hope matches yours, sir. Okay, Mr. Based, because if it doesn't match your ethnicity in real life, then I think we've got a hate crime on our hands. But leaving that to one side for now, 24, let's address your comment. I suppose you think, for some reason, that I should be liking I should be giving out my little heart icon to all of the comments in the comment section that are threatening my life. Hmm? Is that what you should do? Would that be based enough for you? Or would that be the behavior of a total cook? Something I'm sure you'd know nothing about. With your apple bottom jeans and the boots with the fur. Moving swiftly on, our next comment that we have here comes from Hans M. Or Handsome, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. 
And this comment has a much more thoughtful, profound, dare I say, sort of vibe. This comment sounds like it was written by a good-intentioned, a well-meaning, disaffected young man. The kind of disaffected young man who listens to a lot of Lex Friedman, Chris Williamson. He's probably three chapters into the audible version of Matthew McConaughey's Green Lights. So let's give young Hans a chance here. Let's give him a break. He's a future subscriber. I can feel it in my boner. Dude, you sound like the biggest hater. I get it, but no one's the perfect man. We can nitpick anyone at any time. There's no glory in that, and if you think there is, you need to reevaluate yourself. I'm pretty serious. Okay, so let's go. Your first mistake, little Hans, is describing me as a hater. When in fact, everybody knows I'm an investigative journalist and entrepreneur, much like another one of your heroes, Stephen, from Diary of a CEO. You then go on to say that there is no glory in nitpicking. To which I would say two things. First of all, try telling that to the macaques. They bloody love nitpicking. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> all right, so hopefully you've had enough time to get over your laughing fit. You've wiped the tears out of your eyes and uh, you're ready to listen to me because I am going to be earnest for a second. I am going to try and actually engage with my critics for a second so that you can understand what I'm trying to do here. A common criticism of commentary channels like this one is that the creators are embittered, envious, hateful. Now, obviously you're free to believe that, and equally obviously I have no way to prove you wrong. I can only speak for myself, but I really don't feel that I have any envy, any bitterness, any hatred towards any of the people that I discuss here on my channel. Uh, I can't speak for other content creators, other commentary channels. Maybe there, some of them are bitter, envious, uh, hateful individuals smouldering away in their mum's basement, like you always say, eh? Uh, I don't know. And if that is the case, then maybe you should stop watching those channels and come and watch mine. The point is, uh, I think that this comes down to a difference in personalities, a difference in senses of humour. I consume... <laughs> I watch other channels, other commentary channels that, you know, uh, criticise comedians and other YouTubers and pick up on their idiosyncrasies and have a laugh at them. And I really enjoy it. It's not, it's not in a bitter parasocial way. It's just I find it very funny to laugh at people. That's what I've always done. Okay? Now, you could call that a personality disorder, I guess. <laughs> I call it having a laugh. I guess what it comes down to is whenever I see a comment on one of my videos or one of the videos of another channel that I would watch uh, <laughs> and it says something along the lines of uh, why all the hate? Oh, you're so bitter. I just think to myself, you and me, the person that wrote that comment, we just wouldn't get along in real life. Would we? We're, we're inhabiting two different universes. You know, I'm here in my universe with all the irony and the uh, making fun of people and whatever. And you're over there with your autism or psychopathy. What it boils down to is if you don't enjoy the Daniel Boland show, you're fucked. Okay, so we'll just take a look at a couple more of my favourite comments from the last video. The only thing worse than Joe Rogan going on and on about the same topics every episode is hearing these YouTube channels go on and on about how much they hate what Joe Rogan talks about. <sighs> Sigh. I roll emoji, am I right? Another 100 IQ take that just doesn't understand what we're trying to do here. We're building something. British guy beats a dead horse. I can't lie, I actually found that one funny. Well played, good Cox. Now, this comment, you're probably going to think to yourself, fair enough, he just doesn't like the content. You're annoying as fuck, and I will not be coming back here. Yeah, okay, he doesn't like it. I get it. But what I couldn't believe was there was a comment under this comment. Look who came crawling out of the woodwork again. It's only 24 based. Real bad man. Exactly. He only reviewed the first five minutes of the pod. This guy, clown! Well, that's just not true, is it? Uh, so, you know, maybe you should go away and reevaluate the length of your sideburns.
everywhere. It's been the same. Like I'm outside in the rain. Free to find, find a game. Cards for sorrow, cards for pain. Cause I've seen, oh, blue sky through the tears in my eyes. You get the point. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Check out my Patreon for the prohibited content. We've got four videos up there and there's more on the way. All right. Stop the death threats. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.